Are you attending a party that I'm not aware of? Mike, is this one of your jokes? You know it is. How can I forget your long awaited business launch come photo shoot? But one thing is this I thought you're supposed to be a no makeup kind of thing. Ah! A photo shoot without a makeup? Mm -hmm. Do I want to ruin my career even before it began? Oh, come on. I'm just saying. Okay. Your brand is perfumes and skincare products, right? Mm -hmm. Your target is to you know, convince your audience that your product can work by showing them natural glowing skin. <laughs> natural glowing skin? Mm -hmm. Please be real, Mike. Why do you think majority of business owners hire beautiful models to advertise their products? Oh, come on, because they are thieves now. Yes, they are crooks and liars, all of them. Oh, my wife. My beautiful wife is a truthful business owner. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? What? I am happy you're doing this. And I am glad I have your support and that of friends. Speaking of friends. Babe, seriously, what's wrong with Simon? What do you mean? Is he waiting for dogs to grow horns before he proposes to Alexis? They like each other, so I don't see what is stopping that bell from ringing. I'd rather not get involved in other people's affairs. Hmm? Yeah, we're friends. I know, but they're adults. Just let them sort themselves out, okay? Wait. Oh, listen, baby. Life is simple. Stop the complication. this before but these quotes I have issue babe I told you these quotes are for decorations that's what you keep saying but isn't written words supposed to make you think that's the thing it's making you think and you're disturbing with questions if you listen to this one try and try again that's life now that one says Life is simple. Stop the complication. That's even by you. You see, this one here is a major concern. When you reach the end of your rope, tie another rope and keep going. And now it brings me to the question, wouldn't you fall tying another rope? And if you know you had another rope, why not tie it before climbing? You see what I'm talking about? These quotes are making you think. That's the thing. This quote gives me a headache. Hey, they're for the creations. Just let them be. How about I change them to something better, like a better quote? <laughs> Babe, a million times I've said no. Fine. This relationship is over. Uh, <laughs> are you serious, babe? I'm serious. Hey, 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 look. <laughs> Why do we look at you? Uh, babe, you're looking so fine. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, tell me something. What? Are you sure this get together is happening at Maria's place? No. One sugar daddy in Asukuru. I thought as much. Yeah. I thought as much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, come here. Hey, hey, don't do that. Don't, okay? But babe, I'm not kissing your lips. Kiss, that's how you will start, please. Uh, just small now. Babe, stop. 
Uh-uh. You see, that's Mara. I told you. <sighs> what does she want? I'm late. Tell her what do you want? My friend gave her the phone, Joe. Simon. Release her now. I'm not holding her now. Babe, I'm sorry. I'll be with you in 20 minutes, okay? You should have been here already. Oh, yeah, see you in 15 minutes. I know. Okay, fine. Okay, see you soon. Some people are here. Babe, just let me book cab now, please. Uh, mm? kiss me. Babe, stop this. When I come back, I'll kiss you. Don't worry. Babe, two or three kisses. Please now, just let me book cab. God. Four. Oh, <laughs> okay, well, except okay, you want okay. to take me okay, yourself. Uh, I would, I would do it. Just let me book. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay, yeah. Where's the one? My perfume. Yes, <laughs> you will never change. Let's just be like you already said. I really need to put the shade. That's it. I'm going to be watching your way. Of course, you know, we like looking petty. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. mm. so mm. ah. ah, Guys, 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 guys. Ah, before I forget, you know, me and wine. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, an old friend of mine will be joining us. Okay. Yeah, she recently moved back into town. So, oh. yeah, don't worry, she's a very cool girl. So, no need for walls. Mm-hmm. Well, it's left mm-hmm. for her to be cool. If she's not, we'll send her back to her and she's Exactly. <laughs> She'll come back in the day. The lioness has spoken. Speaking of old friends, Faith again. Mm-hmm. How far are your bubble now? What this time now? What's, which one? What's that which one? Frank? What? The one you, you always followed. Uh, Femi. Femi. No. Frank? Femi. No. Femi, Femi, Femi. Ah, 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 I have a serious gist for you guys. Mm-hmm. Shoot like, it. like, and wait. You did like after Femi served me breakfast. I actually dated two first cousins. Oh. Ah, two first cousins. What? Hey. 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 No, 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 hey. no, Okay. <laughs> okay. The thing is, I didn't even know they were related. Mm. I mm. met the both of them on different occasions. Okay. okay. Mm. Well, um, when I discovered they were related, I I had to confess. Mm-hmm. Hoping that the one that loves me the most would stay. <laughs> but I guess so 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 how old was she then? Ten. My sisters. Oh. He just kept. Uh-huh. Oh, so, that was so, oh, oh, that must be Jado. Oh. My friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you say. Oh. Yes. Wow. Who said you go confess? Is confess your when nobody <laughs> says. <laughs> I know she, she's going for the rich guy. The rich guy. Mm-hmm. Like the rich one. 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 Like this is Kate and that's Anne. Yeah. Oh. Hi, Jenny. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you doing? Oh. Yeah. She's so pretty. pretty. <laughs> yeah, I like you. You see, I'm very cool. So, Jadel, meet the girls. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Oh. Well, I mean, it looks like you guys are having so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, so, back to our G's. What is that happening? Mm-hmm. So, when I realized these people were cousins, yeah, I had to confess. Oh. But it didn't end up well. I, I was hoping the one that loves me the most was going to stay. Mm. But um, it didn't work out. Mm. 
Table left. Okay. Uh, we are going for two things at the same time. Uh, she eh? was trying to no, you see, she, she <laughs> lost the boat. Of course. This relationship <laughs> thing, like, she had to do something. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. They just seem to be having a lot of fun. My dog, dog. Yeah. Seriously, we are, we are having a lot of fun. So, so mm -hmm. as you can see, with this thing and having fun, as you know, you actually came in at the right time. Oh. Catching up on yeah. old times. Old times, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, failed relationships, crazy exes. You know, you know, significant things that basically mm -hmm. has happened in mm -hmm. our lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you have anything to share with us, we wouldn't mind. Mm -hmm. You know, let's yeah. use your cat smokers. So we roasting fade here, so yeah. 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 something you don't want to talk about, something you're ashamed of. Mm. Shoot. It's actually one of the yeah. best experiences of my life. Whoa. You know? And yet it ended how I run. <sighs> You know when something is so good, mm -hmm. like so good to be true, so much that it starts getting overwhelming, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That was my experience with my ex. Ah, ex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we loved each other so much. Mm -hmm. Wait, did I say loved? That just still loves me. Ah. Yes. And he, he's still not over you. Like how long have that been? Well, it's been two years. And mm -hmm. he's not over me, my darling. In fact, <laughs> I doubt he'll ever get over me. Mm. Okay. Mm. So then, if mm. he's not over him, why did he break up with you? He didn't break up with me. I did the breaking. Woo! Yeah. Why? Was he stingy? Does his breath stink? Oh my. <laughs> don't, 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 don't tell me he's bad in there. Ah! 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 Oh, like, oh, oh baby. <laughs> there you go. I know, but he was so perfect that he was getting obsessed with me. Oh. Right? So I left. Oh, oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, um, he got into a new relationship not mm. long after that. Oh, just no. to prove to me that he could leave without me. Oh. Okay. So. Did he later break up with this new woman? Well, to the best of my knowledge, they're still together. Oh. Oh. Well, maybe being with her is just helping him get over his feelings for you. Hell no. Look, if I walk into that man's life today, mm -hmm. I'm very sure that he's dropping the other woman like it's hot. Oh, gangster moves! I don't get it. Wait, 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 wait. When did you get that? I want to ask you. She's so confident. This is This is strange. 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 This you know, sometimes he gets drunk and mm -hmm. then he calls me over the phone. Mm -hmm. Like he prank calls me when he's drunk and just goes, Jadiel, I love you so much. Oh. I can live without you. Oh. I still want you in my life. Oh my God. I can live without you. Oh know. my God. <laughs> oh boy. It is finished. <laughs> so while we're dating, while we were dating, I had this um, very interesting hobby of just writing down my quotes in his journals. You know, I was very fond of doing that, mm -hmm. right? So he would take the quotes and put them in a frame and hang them up on the walls with my initials, J. Oh, oh right? <laughs> He's in love! I know! Mm -hmm. And on this fateful day, he took some lovely pictures of those frames and sent them to me. And you know what he said to me? Mm -hmm. He said, the day I take down these frames, that's the day you know that I'm over you. Mm -hmm. You guys, guess what? What? Till so tomorrow, we're still waiting for that day. Ah ah! Mm -hmm. This guy is so in love! It's wrong! This guy is so in love! <laughs> How do you do it, man? Kayamata. Just being genuine. Please. <laughs> it's the J effect. Show me the way, man! Show me the way! <laughs> it's the J effect! Oh. Anyways, let me, let me dive in. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. So help yourself. Yeah. So delicious. I mean, Mara's always huh. delicious. Oh, <laughs> How did I do it? Let's get to it. <laughs> um, guys, um, 
Please just carry on. I would steal Alexis for a minute. I need her to help me oh. fix one or two. Oh, we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm really enjoying this food. Love me man. too. <laughs> carry on, carry on. Like, this is so big. good. <laughs> and you guys, it just feels like I've known you guys for ages. Mm. What? Feels so good. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Simon's house with J initials on them. Yes. And he told me about this ex of his that was like his lifeline. Are you serious? Yes. He told me how she broke his heart and left. Alexis, we are not so sure of this, okay? I didn't tell them, but I didn't know how it's Simon. Because you met Simon through me. Oh, that's true. Have he never mentioned the name of his ex to you? Not Jadiel. Then this might be a coincidence. A very serious one. Okay, let's just go back there and keep calm about this until we're sure. Okay? How are you now, eh? Look, you won't kill yourself. What did they do you? You're a front-end developer. And you want to take the job of a back-end developer. How do you want to manage it? Eh, you won't die. See, let me tell you something. If you want to be a stack developer, you start small, eh? You already know SQL. You already know that one, eh? You start from there. Uh, guys, let me call you back. Wait, when did you give up? Babe, are you okay? Babe, come. Babe, this is not the face I expected you to come back with. Did anything happen at today's get together? Perhaps it's the stories we talked about. Stories? What stories? Mara's friend, Jadel, came. She says she's an author. And she has quotes with her initials on them. She says she moved out. But now she's back to town. And she spoke about a particular ex of hers that said he would never forget her. He said that the day he takes down her coat in his house is the day he has finally gotten over her. Did she mention the name of her ex? We don't mention names. Are you okay?
Hey. Hey. <laughs> I hope I didn't keep you waiting. It's okay. <sighs> hey, you, you look good. Thank you. Yes, so, how did you know that I was back in town? Never mind how I knew. <laughs> okay. I've missed you. Which? Thank you for reaching out to me. But then, contacting me on Facebook meant that you no longer have my number. You changed it. Yes, <laughs> I did. But I knew you'd have tried to reach out somehow. Yeah, I did. Simon, how are you? I'm good. Are you seeing anyone? Straight to the point. <laughs> of course, you know me. <laughs> yes, I am. Oh. Same lady? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You really like her? Of course I do. And you? I broke up six months ago. Oh. Do you want to have something to eat? Not at all. Yeah. Like, I just want us to talk like we used to. How long are you in town for? Time when I am back. Fully? Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you paid for this? Yeah. I mean, they served the bill the moment they served. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, shall we? Yes, we shall. <laughs> okay. Yeah.
I had to leave. You didn't have to. Honestly, I, I wish I didn't. Are you regretting leaving? Yes. Why? It's not easy to connect with people the way that we connected. So I struggled with finding someone I could care about. How about now? I broke up six months ago. And you, you're still with the same person after a very long time. <laughs> Two years is not such a long time in a relationship. No, like long term. <laughs> I know. It's one of the things I miss about you. I should go. Okay. Yeah, um, hello, Mike. Yeah, um, uh, hello. Yeah, my guy, I'm fine. I'm all, I'm good. Um, please, is your wife there? Oh, yes, uh, she's around. Why? I really need to speak with her. Please, can you give her the phone? Oh, uh, honey, come. Um, Simon is on the line. He wants to speak to you. Oh. Yeah. Hey. Hi, Mara. Um, please, is Alexis with you? No. Why? Uh, I came back to the house and I didn't find her. I didn't go upstairs anyways, but I'm sure she's parked. I'm guessing Jadel is your ex. Yes. So what do you want me to do? I expect you to be on your way to her house. Not calling her friend. Please, I need you to talk to her mommy first. She knows about Jadel and the quotes. And you don't know how to start addressing the lies of the past two years. Yes. I'll try. But you know you are the one she will want to listen to. Please just talk to her for me first. I know she's fond of you. Simon, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Does Jadel still mean anything to you? Yes. So why do you need me to speak to Alexis? I just needed to hear me out. 
At least, did you just hear me out? Okay. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Bye. What's going on? I don't even know how to start explaining. Simon is in between two women, and both of them are my friends. Wow. How did that happen? I don't even know. I have to go to the grocery store. He wants me to speak with Alexis, so I'll go on my way. Okay. Take care, babe. All right. Okay, please sit. Thank you. I decided to come instead of speaking with you on the phone. Oh, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. So, what can I offer you? Water? No, don't bother. I know you're crazy angry right now. You're just trying to be civil. Well, I'm not crazy or angry. I'm just... I'm just being reflective. He asked me to speak with you. Of course, he took the coward way out. He doesn't really know how to go about this whole situation. Okay. So what's the message? You're my friend. I just came to see if you're okay. For two years, Simon lied to my face. He held on to his ex. Do you even know how many times you said I love you in that house? All of that was a lie. I, and I know how bad this is. Honestly, you know, I was never what he wanted. He just held on to me till Jada returned. And now Jada is back. And he's done. You are not. Totally sure of this. I'm sure you heard that talk. I did. <laughs> Those courts have been hanging on his wall since we've been together. She's been a part of our relationship all along. What are you going to do now? I'm fine. It's not going to be easy for you. You love this guy. 
with what I know. I really don't care how hard it's going to be to move on. Alexis, you and I were hoping for a proposal. Isn't this obvious the reason he never proposed? Despite talking about starting a family for over a year. It wasn't supposed to be me. I really don't care how much of my life I built around Simon. I'm taking it back and I'm moving on. Yeah, hello, Mara. Oh. I'm just coming in. Oh, okay. Um, how did you go? I don't know what you're expecting, but Alexis is hurt. So I have nothing to say to you other than you should talk to her. I know, I should. I should talk to her. I will talk to her. But you're not going to. I will. But not now. As soon as possible. Well, let me just say this to you. Whenever you're done being indecisive, if you ever have the opportunity of being with Alexis, then you're very lucky. Shopping took a while. Ah. Babe. Yeah? Tell me about the dinner, Simon. How do you mean? Tell me about the girl and Simon. <coughs> Babe, why are you so concerned about this matter? Jadel and Alexis are my friends. Wait, you know Jadel? Wait, how come I didn't know? How many of my friends do you know? Jadel has been my friend for over five years, even though we don't see often. So, now that I have answered you, I need you to answer mine. Well, in our circle of friends, until about two years ago, we always joked that Jade would be the end of Simon. You know, he was into her so much. 
As a matter of fact, she doesn't care who you are, no matter who you are. If Jada doesn't like you, Simon will never like you. So, Jadel is the reason he hasn't proposed to Alexis? She has to be married or something before Simon can look at another woman. So you're telling me that Alexis and Simon lasted this long because Jadel wasn't around? Yes. How is it that she has this much influence on him? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, people are different, you know. Some people are like that. I think he probably needs to experience something way stronger than what he had with Jadel for that to break. He believes Jadel is the best thing that has ever happened to him. And Jadel knows that. I'm already close to you. <sighs> okay, I'm here. Um, so you feel things now? 
<laughs> well, you never can tell. Anyway, I'm close to you. See you soon. Okay, see you soon. Yeah, hold on, I'm coming. <clears throat> hey. Hey. Uh, come in. Thank you. You're welcome. You. You still have them. Mm-hmm. You are the sweetest person that I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And your house? Your house is so beautiful. Ah, uh, thank you. Wow. This is really nice. You kept even more of them. I remember this one so well. I remember exactly what phase I was in my life when I wrote it. Oh, this is so beautiful. Ain't you the sweetest? You know what? I'm definitely going to take a tour. Yes, let's find out how many more of these coats are in this house. Look at that one. My favorite. <laughs> oh my God. Simon, who are you? Because it might be a start of something for my girl. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure she's ready for that? Uh, no, 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 Seriously, shut down her life because Simon is blind. Baby, if you ask me, I'll just advise honey, you. Honey, honey, honey. The dinner is happening, okay? I invited the two of them and they are coming. As a matter of fact, Alexis should be here any minute. I was just saying. Yeah. I was going to say, don't push anything. Mm -mm, nah, I won't, okay? It will just happen. <laughs> <sighs> and besides, I heard something about Jadel that I need to verify. What did you hear? I won't speak of it until I'm sure. <laughs> I hope it's not a made up story, Sean. Do I sound like I'm interested in a made up story? Ugh. <laughs> This is my girl, Alexis. Babes, this is Hanks, my close friend. Um, Hi, Alexis. Hi, Hanks. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> hey, please come chat to everyone. Okay. 
I could stay away if you want me to. No, don't say that. What do you want me to say? I obviously want us, but I will not force it. But, but you're not. So, she knows about me and my quotes. So there's nothing more to hide then. I don't want to hide anything. Remember what you said to me two years ago about my quotes? Mm -hmm. The day I take them down is the day I forget you. They're, they're still up. Yeah. Come back if you want me to make up your mind. Be simple. Stop the complications. <laughs> oh, but seriously, guys, I don't understand why you guys are laughing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, you two, you're laughing because you know what you're saying is not right. But what is wrong about it? So wait, you're telling me that if your child walks in you and your wife making out, and the child asks, Daddy, what are you doing to mommy? You're going to say, I'm doing what I did before you're born? Yes, of course. Mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> it's not my child you're going to say that one. Mm -mm. I'm just telling you how the truth. Ah. Well, I don't think it's about the truth. I think that's not the best way to communicate the situation to her. So how am I supposed to communicate that oh. to her? Okay. Depends on how much the child saw. Mm -hmm. They just say it's our daughter. You can see something like, mm, sweetheart, mm -hmm. your mommy and I are just playing. When you grow old and get married, you play with your husband like that. <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yes, I, I, I don't like this one. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like your hair, by the way. Oh. Alexis. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that everyone is gone, mm -hmm. I should not ask the question that has been on my mind. When are you getting married, Hanks? What? Why didn't you ask me this when the beautiful Alexis was here? I would have proposed straight to her. You think I'm kidding, huh? <laughs> but seriously, I do like her. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be careful, you know? Well, she's very much single. It's like music to my ears. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me, just, let me just let you breathe. We're going to talk about that later. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I got you. So? So that's family. Hey. What are you doing here? I've been waiting for you. For what exactly? I need us to talk. Okay. My name is Alexis. Alexis, I'm sorry. For what? For not telling the whole story. You mean for lying to me for the past two years? I'm trying to say something. And I'm trying to make sure you don't waste my time. 
I know I didn't tell you about Jordan and I. What I'm trying to say. Listen, listen, Simon. I wish you the best. Okay? Jadel is back and she means a lot to you. And I wish you to the best. Are you giving up on us already? You and I are done. We we'll have nothing to say to each other. Makes sense. Alex, I'm so Hey. hey. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Well, I am good as well, and I come bearing gifts. Ah, uh, you shouldn't have to. Well, forgive me, <laughs> but you sounded tired and hungry, mm. and I couldn't help myself. I had to go to one of your favorite restaurants, and I got you something. That's on distance. Well, I'm not complaining. Thank you. You're welcome. Now let me dish something for you so okay. you can eat and I can go. Why do you want to go? Look, Simon, I really want to be with you. But I need to know that you want to be with me too. I need you to say that you want to be with me. I want you. And Alexis. You're over. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's fine. It's okay. Simon and I, we're back together. <laughs> what did you say? I just got back with my ex. <laughs> Jadel, we have not really talked about this. We should do it now. Okay. Alexis is my friend. Um, yeah, I noticed. And you know that the only reason she is not with Simon is you. I do. Does that make you feel okay? I'm not in the mood to be put in those kind of situations right now. Okay, if that's what you're saying. <sighs> Jadel, why are you back? To be honest, I, I shouldn't have left. 
in the first place. Then why are you back? <laughs> because I like it here, Ma. And I mean, even more so now that I'm back with Simon, I am just so happy and oh, you shouldn't have left him in the first place. So, you came back and picked up Simon that belongs to you. It doesn't matter if he has built something with someone else. But I never asked him to break up with her. I mean, he said he wanted to be with me and that he was done with her, so... Simon said that? Yes. That is unbelievable. <laughs> You know, I I came here, I thought I wanted to speak to my friend. But you know what? Now I realize I should never have, I should have just kept that piece of information to myself. Daddy, I'm sorry if I am not as enthusiastic as you want me to be, but put yourself in Alexis' shoes. It will hurt badly. Jadel. What is it? What exactly was Jadel expecting from me? Was that Jadel? Yes. What did she say? That she's back with Simon. And I'm sure she told me that so that I can inform Alexis. <laughs> How is this funny? I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I told you, right? Remember I told you that it would take something way stronger than what he feels for Jadel for this relationship to come to an end. Babe, believe me when I tell you that replacing Jadel is going to be tough. I mean, she has her claws buried deep in him. So Jadel can just walk in anytime and displace anybody that is with Simon and continue from where she stopped? <sighs> Pretty much the reality, babe. But Alexis loves him and has been good to him. Listen, babe, this is really not our business, okay? Yeah, um, hello? Yeah, guy, I'm for now. Um, I, we need to see. Yes, we need to have a conversation. Okay, let's meet at the usual place. Okay, all right. Um, see you. My call for? You sounded serious. say this because I usually don't like getting myself involved in this kind of topic. What kind of topic? Guy okay, Alpha, Jadel and Alexis, what's going on? You know my history with Jadel. I know. Are you sure now? Yeah. You don't even sound sure. I am sure. Look, you know how long I've been hoping to see her. Where did she go to? Abuj. Why? To explore and see where she can be more productive. Then why is she back now? Well, I, I guess it didn't work for her. What? Why are you looking like why are you looking at me like that? I'm not a kid, bro. I know what I'm doing. I am not. She broke you when she left the other time. Guy, I don't want to see you like that again. 
Listen, I am trying very hard not to compare the two women. Because it's not in my position to do so. But then, it is your job to think about your life today. Think about what you want for tomorrow. And decide the best partner to be on that journey with you. Listen, I'm just doing my job as a brother and friend by having this conversation. So let it sink. I appreciate that, bro. I do. That's fine. It's good. Mm. Mm -hmm. What did you want? Uh, nothing really. We just talked about some stuff. Like what? Like nothing you should worry about. Come on. <laughs> you know we always tell each other everything. I'm not hiding anything from you. Anyways, I know we only just got back together. So we're fine-tuning our rhythm. <laughs> I know that in no time we'll be back to exactly where we left off. Fully open to each other. <laughs> ah, babe. Mm -hmm. Guess what's been happening? What? Well, this lady over here has been matching your outfits Sunday to Sunday. <laughs> like you used to do? Exactly! <laughs> Don't worry, by the time that you step out, they will definitely know that you have a woman in your life who's taking good care of you. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, sorry, hold on. Hello? Yeah. So, have you guys decided? Look, if we need to go through this, we need to decide as a team. What did she say? Okay, um, you know, finalize this whole thing and get back to me. All right, thank you. Hey. Hey. What's going on? Uh, I was talking to my team. I. I thought you guys were all guys. Oh no, we have a female decoder among us. Is she any good? It's very good. I'm sure that's why you'd like to work with her. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Are you okay? Yeah, I am. I mean, I was just, I was just wondering why you had to come out to take that call. Oh, I didn't think about it. Okay. So, Mara, so what do I owe this visit? There you go. Thank you. So. What is this about? <laughs> Hans, what's your number? Hans, what's my number? Mm -hmm. What for? What did you say to him? Say to him something like, Hans can't just wake up and ask for my number. You must have said something. Please, oh, um, I don't know what you're talking about. Should I give him your number or not? Whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, another dinner is coming up. <laughs> okay. I think I'm sure that's the reason you're here. So what's this one going to be called? 
a hands made Alexis kind of dinner. Is that a thing for the dinner? <laughs> huh? Please don't be silly. I can never plan such a thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I just met you yesterday, I think. <laughs> right? Stop it. <laughs> Work too hard and too long. I have to. No, you don't. Mm. Life is not money to be saved. Spend it. Okay. Sounds like a good idea, right? Babe, hey, not now. Why not? Look, I just think it's, it's too early to... To what? Go public? With me? Babe, no. That was not the word I was intending to use. Why well, you were looking for something in that direction. <sighs> Look, babe. All I'm just saying is let's just take it easy. Hmm? You know... I didn't even realize that the girl Mike was getting ready to get married to two years ago was my friend, Mara. <laughs> I only realized when I met her at the airport on my way to Abuja. Hmm. Right? And babe, you know what? I have never truly enjoyed a double date. <laughs> so let's hang up, baby. Babe, <laughs> no, not now, no. Please. Look, when the perfect time comes, we will. Hmm? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're still the same. I mean, just like the old times, you always say the news before you say yes. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll call them. Finish this. Let me call Mara. So she gets everything ready. And we're ready. Jadil. Hey Mara, how are you? I am. What about you? Well, so so. Um, look, Mara, I am so sorry about how I went off on you the other day. It's okay. I understand. Thank you. Um, I was also hoping that there's no bad blood whatsoever between us. No bad blood at all. Okay, that's great. So, um, Mara, Simon and I were thinking about a double date kind of thing with you and Mike. What do you say? Really? Yeah. I mean, it'll be fun. Will that be fine? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, when would that be? Yes, I'm here. Tomorrow is perfect. Yeah, my house, my treat. Ah, oh, okay. See you tomorrow. <laughs> bye. Yeah, bye.
remember what happened on the day I read this particular quote? <sighs> Babe. Babe. Uh, yeah. What is going on with you? How? You seem lost. Um, it's nothing. I'm fine. Sure, yeah. Hey, look at you. Looking all beautiful. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Hi. <laughs> right. Are you sure you're really fine? I'm good. I'm good. Okay? Trust me, it's necessary. <laughs> Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. 
How come she's running off? She has an old money tomorrow. Oh, I see. Such a shame though. Because I was prepared to hang out till God knows when. Oh, come on. Okay, we're here. And you know what? It's not going to be much fun when some people are gone. You have your food, so let's eat. Mm. Come on, do something. Yeah, yeah, I will. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so, okay. All right. Mm. Can I do some of this? such plans. Girl, you should. Because this food is very tasty. Yes, and you, my dear friend, are a good chef. Oh, well, thanks, Shadow. <laughs> Thank you. My pleasure. Um, can I pick you up tomorrow for lunch or dinner? Whatever works for you. <laughs> um, Hanks, truthfully, I'm not ready for any kind of relationship now. Um, Alexis, I totally understand. I'm not saying we shouldn't get to know each other. Yeah, I'm not saying that either, but I just got out of a relationship and I need space for myself. Okay. I understand, I understand. Um, can I call you from time to time to check up on you? Yeah, sure. That works for you, right? Mm-hmm. At least getting your number won't be a waste of time. No. Nice to see you. Same here. Take care. You too. Even ask me that. I told you we shouldn't go for that dinner. Why? Because you knew that your ex was going to be there, or because you weren't sure you wanted to be with me? I never knew Alexis was coming for the dinner.
yet he kept staring at her all through the night. And even when she left, you were looking like a sad man. <sighs> I was so embarrassed. He never do that to me. Why did you come back, Jadil? I came back for you, Simon. Isn't it obvious? You came back for me? Yes. I did. And why are you even asking me this? Two years. Two good years. I've been in this neighborhood. You should have come quicker. Simon. Why are you changing the subject? I've been thinking. About? But why you came back? to prove to Simon and Jadiel that Alexis was doing great. Hmm. You won. Then I guess my job is done. So, you have finally succeeded in helping him and his relationship with Jadiel. I saw her face with Simon staring at Alexis the whole time. Well, if truly what Jadel has on Simon is that strong, I don't think there should be a problem between them. What if he's broken? Wait, listen. I don't think Jadel is a monster. I know she thinks she's looking out for herself, but come on. She pushed a girl like her out of a relationship she's been in for two years. You might not have known her before, but you know very much about her now, and you still do not care. Listen, Jaden is there because Simon wants it that way. I'm not saying that. Jadel was not good to him in the past. But are you telling me that he is still the Simon of two years ago? The Simon you described as a wreck. Because the Simon I've seen with Alexis is a happy, fun-loving guy. I have never seen him this sad. What? Oh. Um. Tell me, what did you hear about Jadel? You said you were going to verify, and you that I know already did. Well... Well, what? I can't... Come back here! Oh, no, Where are you going? Hey, listen, you're going to tell me about it now. What was that? Why are you running to? Come here. You tell me, right? This man, why do you like gossip so much? Especially when it's coming from my beautiful coin. Yeah, oh. Mr. Watch. <laughs> so, my ear is itching. Okay. Come. Okay. Promise me you won't tell Simon. <sighs> Promise. Hmm? 
Okay. <clears throat> I'm all ears. I heard that Jadel met a guy two years ago and followed him to Lagos. They were supposed to get married, but he left her. What? So, she returned to that one guy she can influence. If it had worked out between she and the Lagos guy, Jadel would never have returned. Oh, babe, why have you been sitting on this kind of information all this while? Mike, you dare not tell Simon. It is not my job to find out what he should be finding out. So tell me, how did you find out? I have mutual friends with Jadel, so I made a few playful calls. And you're asking me not to tell Simon? Yes. You know, to think that Simon spoke to Alexis because he wanted to prove to Jadel that he can actually get another woman. The intention was to just, you know, make Jadel jealous when she insisted she was moving to Lagos. It's funny that the first day Simon said hi to Alexis, we were together. I get the intention wasn't to date her, but babe, you know Alexis is a catch. She's a sweet, simple, kind soul. I know. I know. The first time I ran into her at the gym, I knew we were going to be friends. I don't care that I have known Jadel a longer time. I'm Team Alexis. And I am Team Peace and Unity. You need to stop coming to my house. Hey, baby. Where did you disappear to? And where are you coming from? You seem to be staring at me a lot these days. Why? We need to talk. When? Oh. I'm coming from Alexis' place. Confused? About what? About what you want. I was. And now? I mean, I need us to get past this real quick. Because this whole thing has lingered for so long and it's really boring. I've wondered if cutting ties with you means I wasn't appreciative of you in my life. But well, nobody should be in a relationship out of gratitude. There should be more. What 
are you talking about? Um, I'm in love with Alexis. Look, I didn't realize how much I was in love with her until you came back. The memory of you was her only rival. So you're telling me that I've fallen short of your memory of me? That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, you and I know you're not in that space where you come in here every day holding hands. So you no longer need me. That's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that. Look, I don't think I need to be dependent of you again. I'm in my own world. I'm in control of it. Look, I am not even trying to be anybody other than who I really am. I'm just being myself. Okay, this is me being myself. This is who I've always been. And it's who I always will be. Who you are is great. I'm not saying that. Who you are is great. Yes. Maybe I needed to who you are when I was broken, but not now. So, you've not moved to a point where you need another woman. You know, that's not true. I can love any woman. One woman, as long as she makes me feel the same way Alexis makes me feel. So I made you realize how much you love her. I should have just thank you. Seeing you after two years at the restaurant. I should have just made this relationship cordial. You know what? Just have a nice life. Hey. Jack. Last time I would bother you. Please just hear me out. This one last time, please. Make it fast. I have practically dated three women all my life. The first was in the university. I was even planning to get married to her. Only for me to find out she was seeing someone else. I was heartbroken. I couldn't even lift up a finger to do anything. That was when Chadel came into the picture. She practically drove me to recovery. I kept Chadel's quotes because I felt I could heal with them. I didn't want to explain all this to you. I only imagine what it would feel like being with her these past two years. And then she left and I had no closure. Then she came back and I 
was struggling between you and her. Who to be with? I'm no longer struggling. I know what I want. I know who I want to be with. Alexis, you're good to me. Being away from you this whole time has taught me a big lesson. I can't even imagine the possibilities of not being with you. And how exactly do I love you? Alexis, you love me in a way that makes me feel confident. You make me feel good and happy. You love me to the heart. And did our kids do that? Alexis, there's only one you. And that's who I want. You know, I know why you're here. You're here because there's no working out between you two. Simon, I am not your backup plan. Alexis. Do you know what this is all about, please? I'm sorry. Just called to say I'm sorry. About what? About Alexis and I. I I know you care about her a lot. I've been trying to talk to her, but she said she doesn't want to do anything, have anything to do with me. You cannot blame her. I ended things with Jado. Does Alexis know about this? I love her, and nothing compares to her. Good night. You are weak and here this early. Why did you switch off after talking to me? You know, I hate that. I'm sorry, I was exhausted. The quotes are gone. Mm, yeah, they are. Do you know why Jadel returned? She said she came back for me. Do you believe that? <laughs> Not really. You know, after two years. Alexis? She said she doesn't want anything to do with me. I'm sorry. You know, I can't really tell if my talking to her will work. I know. But what I know for sure is that my bowl of soup will help you at this time. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know I like your soups. <laughs> okay. Um Simon. Whatever happens, even if Alexis doesn't come back to you, at least you'll go into the next relationship with no baggage from the past. It's better that way. Mm -hmm. I do. Thank you. <sighs> You're welcome. You're my wife. Uh, uh, finally. <laughs> I can go back to bed. No. What? <laughs> And yes, see me hi to Mike. I'm gonna call him later. Okay. You're kidding me. Only love can hurt like this. The future I thought that we had has faded to Good, because I'm not going anywhere with you. Listen to me, Alexis. What Simon did hurt me too. But somehow I understand his struggles. Struggles? Which is what? He had no closure when Jadel left him. So it's only human of him to, you know, wonder what life would have been with her. We're talking about why we stay together. Yes. You were stupid for taking what you have with him for granted. And he will never do that again. Of course he'll never do it again. Because I'm not going to give him that opportunity. Mike told me that what will break, what is between Simon and Jadel, has to be very strong. And that as long as him and his friends are concerned, Jadel has him for life. Of course you're right. Yes, he is. Because he just did. What are you talking about? The courts are down. And he broke up with her. I am not asking you to go back because of him or me. I'm only here because of just two things. Simon loves you. And he knows that very much now. And he must never play with you again. The second is, Jadel is no longer good for him. He, he was just her backup plan. He was taking advantage of how important she was to Simon. And Simon just said no to that. But he didn't choose me when she returned. He chose you now. I have to go. Mike will start looking for me. And I have to deliver soup to someone. Alright, I'll see you. Okay. 
yes, stop the complication. It is complicated. I know you love Simon with all your heart, but can't you see? You were just something he was holding on to until he gets closure from his girlfriend. It may have taken him two years to realize how he feels about you. But he did. And he's ready to make amends. You can choose to focus on the past or be excited about the future. It is not all that complicated, Alexis. It is simple. Try and try again. That is life. He used you, Alexis. Can't you see? Open your eyes, Alexis. Simon used you. He used you. Didn't you see? Discovering that you were second place in the life of a man you thought was the entire world can be painful. Is he choosing to finally treat you the way you deserve to be treated? because his past came knocking and it wasn't the package he was hoping for? What if the past didn't come knocking when it did? What if it had happened in the next five years or 10 years after you had probably married him and had his kids? Maybe you were just overthinking this thing, but either way, you didn't have the strength to move forward. So you really don't have any excuse now. You are either in or out. If you want him, then take him back. After all, no love story is complete without a fought and a conquered battle. The way to get started is to get started. It's simple, Simon. You know, um, you asked me how long we we're going to last, and we talked about other women I loved. How about forever? Alexis, you're kind, you're caring, you're pretty, you're everything a man would want. And thank you for making me happy. I promise, I promise not to disrespect what we have going by keeping things from you. I'm sorry, I'm all yours. I love you.